in these questions, we're adding a decimal number with tenths to a whole number. So we have 3 plus 2.6. We can write this out as a column addition, making sure we have our two ones from our decimal written underneath the three ones we have in our whole number. Then we can write 0, 0.0 on the end of 3. You can always put 0, 0.0 on the end of a whole number, because all the 0, 0.0 tells us is that we don't have any tenths. So now we have our decimal points and our ones and tenths columns lined up, so we can copy the decimal point down into our answer and then use column addition. So 0 plus 6 is 6, 3 plus 2 is 5, so our answer is 5.6. Now we have 3.9 plus 3. So we can write this out as a column addition, making sure the three holes are written underneath the ones of our decimal. When we have a whole number, we can always write 0, .0 on the end of it, so now we have our ones and tenths columns lined up, we have our decimal points lined up, so we can copy down the decimal point into our answer, and now 9 plus 0 is 9, and 3 plus 3 is 6, so our answer is 6.9. So let's show what we've done. We started with 3 holes, and we were adding 2.6, which is 2 holes and 6 tenths. So, in our answer, we still have the 6 tenths, but altogether we have 5 holes, so that's 5.6. And for this question, we started with 3.9, so that's 3 holes and 9 tenths, and we were adding 3, so that's 3 holes, so in our answer, we still have our 9 tenths, but now altogether we've got 6 holes, or 6 ones. So that gives us 6.9. Now we use the column method here, but if we understand place value, we don't really need to use the column method for questions like this. For this first question, if we highlight our ones, we have 3 plus 2, so that's 5 ones in our answer, and the point 6 stays the same. And for this question, if we highlight the ones, we have 3 plus 3, so that's 6, and then the point 9 stays the same. We can also show what we did using place value counters. So for this first question, we started with 3, so that's 3 ones, and we were adding 2.6. If we add the 6 tenths first, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then we add the 2 holes, so 1, 2, and that gives us 5 ones and 6 tenths, so 5.6. And for this question, we started with 3.9, so that's 3 ones and 9 tenths, and we were adding 3, so we can add 1, 2, 3 ones, and that gives us a total of 6 ones, and we still have our 9 tenths, so that's 6.9. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.